So whether I'm playing multiplayer games or single player games, I find that this problem sticks out in gaming as a whole and no matter how much you try to ignore it, the moment you try to play a game more than just casually, it'll stick out to you like a sore thumb. I really hate meta in video games and even saying the words kind of cringe, so I'm just going to refer to it as playing as that type of guy or being that one of those pretty much. Being one of those types of players ruins video games. and. Let me explain it. It doesn't only ruin it for us, but it ruins it for yourself as well. Because I know you guys are sitting there like, why would I care about any other person's gaming experience than mine? Well, I feel like you're doing yourself a disservice too. And let me get into why playing meta is not only cringe for people around you, but cringe for yourself. Playing meta is like, it's like farting in public. It might feel good, but you alienated yourself from everybody around you and the whole room stinks now. So first of all, we gotta define what meta is though. Meta just means the most effective tactic available. And you'd be surprised how many people actually don't even know what this means while saying it. Cause like I did a poll a long time ago to a lot of Genshin Impact players who obviously, you know, they're not like, like less than 5% of the people like knew what it meant. And you had people in the comment section talking about, oh, oh, actually none of these is what meta means and the publisher got it wrong. The YouTuber got it wrong. This isn't what meta me. And it's like literally the definition is li literally one of the fucking commenters, man. But anyway. So like before I get into it, I'm gonna say there's obviously like a time and a place. You got a job, if you got a kid's raise, if you got shit to do, obviously sometimes you only have a certain amount of time with, with a game. So you gotta do it as efficiently as possible. Or maybe you're just one of those like speedrunners who are just. This donation towards Final Fantasy Adventure is the best Final Fantasy. <laughs> so this will probably be my last chance to tell a story really quick. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been knitting the entire time I've been here. Um, and I actually learned how to knit from my grandmother. Um, and I learned that um. Like you guys do that, and that's like your whole thing. Like you're testing out new ways to break the game and all that. Like I get those types of people. I don't have beef with those types of people. I have beef with the people who are just simply lazy, gotta like win at all costs and just, you know, stink up the whole room. Like I'd argue like a lot, like 80% of people who use, who are one of those are just lazy. You know what I mean? Just too lazy to get good. And let me explain why that's a problem. So <clears throat> when you are one of those types of players, you kind of ruin the experience for yourself because you're not actually experiencing the game. You're like, playing it through somebody else's lens, if that makes any sense. So this is why this applies to not only multiplayer games, but single player games. Breath of the Wild was like one of the craziest gaming experiences for me, like way back in the day when it first came out, because they just threw you in the world and I just got lost in it. I didn't look anything up, I just went, right? And you can only do that once. There's a novelty of your first experience in doing something like, let's say the first time you walk or the first time you eat pizza or whatever the fuck like that's the first time you played the game and you can tell a story like maybe i was playing zelda and like i got i went to a base camp and i pushed a boulder down and like it blew up a whole camp and like but somebody else went there and they shot a fire arrow at bombs and it blew it up and like those are two different experiences right and what i'm saying is it sucks to just experience that through like a guide screen or like a youtube video so it takes away from your experience in a way that will just make the game lamer. Like contrast that with when I played Elden Ring, I really wanted to be a magician and show off to my friends that magic arrow. So I kind of like bead blitzed half the game and I didn't take in half the sights or skip some side quests. And basically, ultimately, I, I spoiled myself a bit for that part of the game. And anybody who's played that game knows that that's like one of the least replayable souls games so i kind of just kind of ruined a part of my experience which would have been better to just do you know playing meta just ruins the experience another thing meta robs you of is your creativity it, it turns you into an npc it turns you into a slave it turns you into everybody else think about a youtuber you watch let's say you're watching a uh, elden ring run and somebody's fighting millennia i haven't played elden ring in a while but like the most common thing people would use is a blood buff it's like blood and freeze pretty much which would just like do ridiculous amounts of damage on a boss if you like built if you hit him enough 
So people just kill the most epic boss in the most cheesy way and they post it online and nobody really cares about that. But what you really care about is somebody doing an all hit run on Melania. What is an all hit run on Melania you ask? Well like look at this video. See, stuff like that is cool, and that's not the common way to do things. It's creative, it's interesting, and it, it's way cooler than somebody who's run a blood freeze build, dual katana build for like the hundredth time, if that's still a thing in Elden Ring. I don't even play that game anymore. But that's besides the point. I really hate stuff like that. Like, in a weird way, games are kind of a form of self-expression. Like, how you build your character or how you play the game is different than somebody else. And if everybody plays the same, it's just lame not only to play against but also just lame to like play in general like you'll have i swear you'll have more fun being original and coming up with your own you know stuff if you can afford to do that if you're not like only limited to like an hour of gaming a day but that's my point also i think that just naturally people who gravitate to that type of play style generally slowly become toxic shittier people i mean Think about the type of person to play like one of those. It's just like the type of person who's low-key carried by that type of meta or being one of those people. Generally just push people away from a game because they're so sweaty. I don't like you develop a shit mentality because the only thing that matters is winning. You start disrespecting teammates. You start disrespecting your players and you get a like inflated sense of ego when like, players who are actually good at the game don't have to showboat or be dickheads or all around just, like, push people away from your favorite video game because of your poor attitude. So, I generally think people... It's not, like, people who play like that are assholes, but people who are assholes gravitate towards playing like that, if you know what I mean. Not everybody's like that, but if you're like that, you're most likely going to play men. And lastly, companies just take advantage of this. This is why so many games have been paid to win recently because it's so easily exploitable and it's kind of crazy how accepted it is to just like, yeah, I paid more money so I'm better at the game and people believe that themselves, right? It's crazy. I was playing this gotcha game Tower of Fantasy and there were people literally in the comments arguing about I spent more money, get on my level, like get your bands up, like are, we're arguing who's stronger in a gotcha game. Like, there's no skill involved it's, it's all money it's depressing but yeah those so those are my three things i feel like playing like one of those ruins the game for yourself because of experience and it turns you into an npc ruins it for everybody around you because it, it encourages toxicity and shitty sportsmanship behavior i mean for christ's sake four days into armored core six and they were using these dual shotguns Four days into the game, the multiplayer was already ruined by meta. Everybody's using these dual shotguns and shit. I think they nerfed them, but like shit was dead on arrival. So yeah, I think that's one of the reasons you see a lot of these videos talking about why is gaming not fun anymore? Because I think people don't know how to step outside of just always having to be the best in every scenario and every situation and it ruins gaming.